Hi everyone, today we're going to look at Productivity 1000 Series PLC Data Handling Instructions Part 2. And in this we will um, look at the last seven uh, data handling instructions. And we will start with the lookup table, then we'll go to pack bits, pack word, shift and rotate bits, magnitude, side magnitude, unpack bits, and unpack word. So the first thing we'll do is look at our lookup table and our lookup table comprises of a number of X and a number of Y references and so what we do is we have 10 Y in our example and 5 uh, X in our examples. So what it's looking for is we will look at a structured uh, input we look at called lookup table and we automatically sets up an X key and a Y key and what it will do is, as we put the X key and the Y key in, it draws the coordinates here. So if I have uh, X and Y is 60, so it goes down 60 here, it has a 200, and over there is 200, so it's looking for 200 right there. If we went to, um, say, 60 on the X and Y on the 10, we will have 250. So what it's doing is actually just looking up at an XY coordinate table. So let's cancel that. And what we'll do is we'll try this instruction out. And as always, we are connected through our Ethernet uh, port. There's our port number or, or our communication port right there. And if we look at our PLC, we're connected through our Ethernet port connected right there. So if I turn on my switch number one, you will see that again, just as we expected, we have an X of 60 and a Y of 60 and our output becomes 200, just as our table indicated, which we looked at right here. So there's my 60 and 60. Now let's change it. Let's go, uh, X is gonna, X2 is equal to 40 and uh, we'll say 40 and 40 and we should actually get um, 270 as the output. So we'll just say cancel on that one. And what we'll do is look out of our data monitor, our data view, and our data view. And we'll have to change the X and Y. So let's change this and we'll put this as a 40. And we'll write that into the PLC. Let's see that it automatically changes my output to 250 now. That's the reference in that table. And a 40 in this one. Write that. And again, we get the 270 just as we expected. So that's a lookup table. Very good for looking at curves of motors, etc., cetera, um, or special uh, functions. So we'll close that down. And the next one we'll look at is the pack bits. So what this will do is it will take the bit numbers that we turn on. So currently right now we have switch number one on. Um, let's turn on uh, We'll turn on a, a few of them here. We'll say, we'll turn them all on, actually. And as soon as we switch that number two on, which is right here, it will actually pack that and put it on the output side. So sure enough, that's exactly what it did. And it put two, the value of 255 into their output. Now that 255, if I look at my data view, and look at the pack bits. We'll expand this out a little bit here. And you can see that I've changed my viewing to a binary. And when it's in binary, I can see all my individual bits. And there's my switches from one to switch number eight that are represented the on. So let's just turn off the switch number two. And we'll just shut them all off here. And our output still stays the same, just indicating that that's when it was enabled, that instruction, and that's what the output switches were at the time. So all on. Okay, so that is what my pack bits will do. Then I have my pack word. And my pack word will take two inputs. We'll take a look at the instruction here. So we're going to do 2, 8, bit, 
and it's going to pack into at least significant and most significant into our destination. So basically what uh, we'll do is take two words and combine into one word. So we'll say OK and that's going to happen on switch number three. So in order to see this a little better, so let's turn on switch number three. And what we'll do is again call up data view. We'll switch this around a little bit and you see it's on decimal. Let me just change that to hex. So in my instruction, I said my least significant word is in position uh, one. So this is zero C and my most significant is uh, 22, which is there. And what it's doing is every time switch number three is on, it will combine those two together into one destination word. And you see the destination word is now 220C. Now if I change um, any one of these, so let's edit this and we'll change this to uh, FF. And we'll write that. Now it changes to FFOC. And again, this is represented in this uh, output on my ladder is representative for uh, decimal. So that's what my decimal equivalent is for my function that I set pack words. So that is the pack word instruction. Next we have shift and rotate. And shift rotate, we've discussed this in a few other uh, videos for um, and applications. So available links are at our website at accautomation.ca and shift rotate is one instruction and it will ask me um, we'll use a structure for this we'll call it shift rotate we'll have input we'll have an output we'll have the number of bits and then we actually tell it what to do um, in our case here what we're going to do is we're going to uh, rotate left and we're going to include the sign bit and it's going to be a one shot on the input itself so we'll hit OK. And what, let's, let's uh, monitor this in our data view. And we can see we've changed it to binary already. So there's my input, there's my output. So now let's change our input to value 2 to match our output and if I rotate then it should move this bit over 1 as we specified number of bits to rotate and it should now um, show our output so again if I hit switch 4 sure enough that's exactly what happens as soon as switch 4 hit you can see my bit rotated from the second position over to the third position bit then I can change my output again and keep on going. So shift and rotate bits work very, very nicely. Now if we look at our magnitude, their sign magnitude, what this will do is allow us to uh, again use a structure, we'll call this sign mag out, and our input is going to be a sign magnitude and the output is going to be two's complement. Now we can also call two's complement to sign magnitude either either and additional links to exactly what uh, sign magnitude and dealing with uh, uh, sign binary numbers um, is at their website so we'll say okay and if we call up data view and on data view we'll look at the sign magnitude and what we'll do is turn on switch number five input is minus one and what I'm showing is the binary and here we can show the sign magnitude so we'll edit that we'll add that minus 200 we'll write that in and again the sign magnitude out then changes to reflect exactly what we're looking for on our input side so sign magnitude. Next is our unpack bits. And what our unpack bits will do is actually take the 
pack, or in our case here, we're taking our input pack bits or our information that we looked at before. It can take up to actually 32 bits. And what we'll do is pack those into one word. So in our case here, we took our pack, our pack build bits out. So when we packed them, we packed them in and we came out with um, the value 255, which represents them all on. And switch number six, when it's on, actually shows you those bits that are on. Let's look at data view just to make sure it's working. In our unpacked bits. And let's just uh, edit this. And we have 000F. Let's, uh, so it's only the first four instead of the first eight. So we'll set that. When we do, again, as soon as we set it, we get the first four bits on instead of the all of the bits on like we did before. And the last one is actually um, unpack word. In unpack word, we'll have a source and then we'll take it to the destination. So here we have, uh, we can specify double words, words. In our case here, what we're going to do is use a 16 bit word and we're going to separate into two 8 bits into destinations. And we'll use the structure. We use unpack word as a structure name and it will automatically set up our source and our to destination. Now we'll take a look at that data view and we'll turn on switch number seven. There we go. And we'll change our source word into a hex value, which is zero four D two. So you can see how it's separating the D two and the zero four into my two unpacked destination uh, locations. So if I were to change uh, the source word and we will put in um, five, six, seven, eight, We'll write that in. You'll see now my my uh, least significant uh, bit or word is seven eight, which is in my first location, and five six is my most significant, which is in my word destination position two. Okay, that is it for our data handling instructions and our Productivity one thousand series PLC. Now, all the links and documentation can be found on our website at accautomation.ca. And if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also go to ACC Automation and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.